So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret, when nobody was in the dining hall. And then he went and stabbed Sayaka with it. So he really did do it? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then it's been decided. We've reached the end. If only it were that easy, Hifumi. I wasn't the one that took the knife. And I think somebody could vouch for me on this. So I guess there's no question. One more time around, and again, they're being really easy on you. One statement, one bullet. So, Toko, if you could please. Big ol' yellow letters. No, that's wrong! Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all y you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Thank God we had Aoi's testimony. Yeah, the knife wasn't even there. We didn't even have a chance to get it. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Be honest, please. Um... No, I don't think so. I'm exactly the answer I needed. You don't think so? I saw that coming. No, he definitely wasn't there. Thank you. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together, and lying to protect each other? Hmm. Idiot swimmer girl? <laughs> Don't take it too harshly, Aoi. She's, uh, she's a bit crazy. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Actually, yeah. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer! Oh, good, some new details. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate! So basically what you're saying is... So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. So it's pointless to be an accomplice. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? You'd think. But what if they did work together? And they just didn't know about the rule. Oh. Ugh, uh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Well, I guess if we want answers, we could just piss off Monokuma. Good job, Shihiro! Oops! Did I say that out loud? Yes! Free details! Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. And I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer! Okay, so then... But who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. Uh-oh. Accusation was just passed. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Can you prove it? Sure. But can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Oh. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea! Sakura with the save! Uh... I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. <laughs> but then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Maybe they're working together. Actually, no. Because, um... Well... Spit it out. Just spit it out already. Thank you. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. 
I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over. Well, that's okay. Which means we have airtight alibis. Well, that's solved. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? Technically. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. Loopholes everywhere. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! Taka... why? But, I'm a girl. Oh god, Taka, you're dead. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing you didn't call Owie a boy, or I would have had to call your eyesight into question. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? How about 12 other people? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh boy. Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Yeah. Well, because... They're not here anymore. Oh. You mean... Oh, man. Didn't see that one coming. Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. The only other person to go there was the victim? Well... We already know the answer here. That was debunked. And that's just silly. So... She really did it? I got it! Then... Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself! I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her, and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Ooh, accusation right back at me. What? See? He did do it after all. No, you're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Mm hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. As soon as I get the heat off me, it's right back on. Uh, this doesn't look good. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Oh, Kyoko, you saved my life. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I might have a hint. Time for a new minigame. It's called Hangman's Gambit. Let's go ahead and learn about it. Basically what Hangman's Gambit is is finding out a word. This is kind of the, uh, kind of the black sheep of all the mini games that they have. What you'll see on screen are letters going all over the place, and you need to spell out the correct word that you are trying to figure out. You need to shoot the letters in the correct order to spell the proper word. Now, if you're like me, your mind tends to wander and you don't pay attention as much as you should. So going through this my first time, Hangman's Gambit was a nightmare. Some of these can be really easy to figure out, 
like this one they're going to show us. Again, we're still in tutorial mode. But some of the other ones, man. They don't like synonyms. And there is a, uh, a big problem with actually uh, getting things wrong. So keep that in mind, you're going to lose health for every letter you get wrong. So be paying attention to those truth bullets. Something that should have been at the crime scene, but wasn't. This is very important, so let's just remember... What is that something? Well, let's see if Hangman's Gambit can help us figure it out. Four-letter word? <laughs> hmm. I wonder what it is. H-A-I... Hair. Now I understand. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Pretty sneaky. Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... The killer cleaned my room! Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? The heat is finally gone for me. Thank you, Kyoko! Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Oh, come on! No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. Yes. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Actually... What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? It's funny that you mentioned that, Kyoko. I was thinking the exact same thing. The one thing that the killer couldn't figure out, and this proves that it clearly wasn't me, they had to break my friggin' doorknob! I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Did you forget an important detail? You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. I sense another debate. Bewildering act, huh? I think I can fill in some of the gaps. Sure, let's learn about it. This is where the game decides where it doesn't need to baby you anymore. It's time for multiple statement non-stop debates. Yep, you're gonna have to pay attention. Now, there are going to be multiple statements that could be seen as contradictions. 
which means you're going to have to figure out what the real contradiction is. There will always be one. Always keep that in mind. If you're going through a non-stop debate and you see multiple statements, only one of them will advance the story. The other one's completely wrong. Take your time. You've got 10 minutes to figure it out. Sometimes may vary for certain debates. But just keep in mind what you have in your truth bullets and what doesn't match those truth bullets. So now we actually have to use our heads. Oh no! Let's have some more fun. <laughs>